Greetings, fellow captains. In a previous episode, we told you about the cruisers of the American Tech Tree. In this episode, we'll talk about the Japanese cruisers. Although grouped into general types, cruisers, battleships, destroyers and aircraft carriers, ships are nevertheless unique in each country. The Japanese cruisers are a perfect example. They occupied quite a specific niche, night hunters, able to strike any adversary, even significantly larger ships. Unlike their American counterparts, almost all the Japanese cruisers are equipped with imposing torpedo batteries, and the damage caused by these batteries increases with each tier. The lower levels of the cruiser branch are given to light cruisers designed to lead destroyer flotillas into battles. They were properly armed and equipped for this role. And starting at Tier 5, players go on to heavy cruisers with up-armoured magazines, tapered decks and inclined armour belts. To tell the truth, the armour on their main battery turrets is poor and their traverse and elevation rate is not impressive, as opposed to the well-mechanised turrets of the American cruisers. But these weaknesses are balanced by the good ballistics of the 203mm guns and their quantity. And the torpedo belt, with the armour along the waterline of the Japanese heavy cruisers, is second to none in their type. Tier 2 greets the player with the sturdy cruiser Chikuma, built after the Russo-Japanese War and taking into account lessons learned from those battles. She is fast enough and well-armoured, 152mm guns in top configuration. But this ship can't be called ideal even for her time, because of her lack of side armour and a somewhat ineffective placement of the turrets. Yet this distribution was typical for ships from the end of the 19th through the first two decades of the 20th century. The two cruisers that come next, Tatsuta and Kuma at tiers 3 and 4 respectively, are a bit closer to being ideal. They are high speed and manoeuvrable. Designed for leading destroyer flotillas, these cruisers are actually enlarged destroyers. The power plant takes up the whole interior of the central hull, from bottom to upper deck. As a result, they frequently suffer critical damage. Compared to their predecessor, the artillery changes 140mm rapid fire guns in single gun units. Torpedo tubes appear. Coupled with high speed, these weapons make Tatsuta and Kuma ideal for aggressive attacks using combined torpedo and artillery fire. The first heavy cruiser, Furutaka, awaits the players at Tier 5. Together with Aoba, a Tier 6 ship, she makes up the first generation of the Washington Treaty cruisers. They were the first to have reinforced armor on the magazine and main gun turrets. With their high speed, these cruisers can effectively fight against light enemy ships, while their torpedo tubes and good guns allow them to fight against battleships as well. The Tier 7 cruiser Miyoko differs from her predecessors, primarily in her reinforced main battery artillery, five turrets, and improved armor including a torpedo belt that is really impressive for a cruiser. In turn, her immediate descendants Mogami, Tier 8, and Ibuki, Tier 9 are upgraded versions of Miyoko. They have better developed armor and are initially equipped with pretty powerful AA guns. Yet Mogami is worth a separate mention. This cruiser was built with five three-gun turrets having calibers 155mm. Such design was meant to cheat the limits set by the Treaty of London. Cruisers with calibre up 155mm were not considered heavy, but shortly before the war, all ships of this type were refitted with 203mm guns. This upgrade brought them in line with heavy cruisers in terms of their gun power. Both variants are available in the game, and players are free to choose what they like most. Good one-shot damage with slow loading, or a constant flow of relatively light shells. The Tier 10 ship, Zeo, is the principle of the Japanese ship design industry. It was not built in reality. There was only a heavy cruiser project dated 1951. If the project had been implemented, 
Zeo would have been the most modern and powerful among the Japanese cruisers, and one of the top cruisers in the world. 203mm guns are assembled in three gun turrets, as on American cruisers, but Zeo has four such turrets, one turret more than her American counterparts possess. In addition, the cruiser carries four quintuple torpedo tubes. This torpedo battery makes Zeo one of the most powerful not only among cruisers, perhaps inferior only to Kidakami, but among all ships in the game. Zeo is also second to none when it comes to torpedo defense. Summing up, we can say that the Japanese cruisers are unique in many aspects and differ from cruisers of other nations. Their main features include good dynamics, plentiful artillery and powerful torpedo batteries. Designed as fierce night fighters, they can defeat any enemy if used skillfully, regardless of the enemy's type or nation. In our next episode, we'll talk about the most threatening opponents of cruisers, the mighty battleships.